Hey guys, what's going on? It's me Nathan. Just want to say good morning everyone to both the East and West Coast. Hope you guys are enjoying your day today here on Thursday. You guys are also looking forward to the weekend coming up. Start tomorrow on Friday. And first for today, I want to talk about um, Robert Downey Jr. walks out of Awkward Avengers interview. So let's go right into it. Uh, the link will be in the description down below. It's from EW.com, uh, posted by Andrea Towers for the 22nd of April, 2015. For the cast and crew of Avengers Age of Ultron, dealing with the barrage of identical interview questions during a global press tour is simply another part of the job. So sometimes it can be uh, uh, invigorating when a reporter asks something different and fresh. Sometimes not. For Robert Downey Jr., his recent interview with Britain's Channel 4 turned cringeworthy when the, question, when the questions strayed too far from the Marvel blockbuster and the star walked out. The cinnamon chat starts innocently enough with relatively general questions about Downey's Iron Man and what it's like to film a sequel in 20, 2012's superhero blockbuster. But about halfway through, the conversation takes a sharp turn. An interviewer, uh, Christian Grant Murphy, begins poking at Downey's past including his drug addiction, his relationship with his father, and his jail time. Guru Murphy also brings up, brings up quotes that Dolly made to the New York Times about his political views in 2008, causing the normally uh, affable actor to ask rather sarcastically, are we promoting a movie? This is not the first time Guru Murphy has provoked an uncomfortable exchange with the Hollywood star. In 2013, he conducted an interview with Quentin Tarantino, we tried to bait the director into taking and talking about whether movie violence had any negative impact in the real world. As for Downey, the actor has the, doc, the actor has openly spoken about his struggle with addiction as well as his jail time throughout his career. So, though such comments are usually not addressed in a promotional setting, a rep for Downey had no comment. Watch the full interview below, and they have the interview, so you guys check that out on the link in the description where I posted below. But, uh, you know, the bottom line is I can't blame Robert Downey Jr. for getting up and walking away because, at, you know, I just at the, uh, even though, you know, you're asking questions, it has to be about the movie. Just about the movie. It doesn't have to be about, you know, your past. It doesn't have to be about where you stand when it comes to the issues in our country. This doesn't have to be about the relationships you have with other fan members. It's just about what is going on right now. And this was supposed to be about the movie, not about... His political views, not about his, his relationship with his father or anything else. Just the movies. I mean, the movie, uh, you know, The Avengers Age of Ultron. And, you know, I can't blame him for that. And, you know, the thing about it is, in today's uh, media, you know, we get all these gotcha questions out of nowhere because they want to get the, get that person off guard or whatever. So, no surprise. Uh, but uh, tell me how many comments below, guys, when you think about this. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you really neutral about Robert Downey Jr. walking out of, of an awkward Channel 4 interview? And so tell me in the comments down below. And don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to also subscribe to my channel, guys. And until next time, it's Nate saying peace, take care. I will see you guys there for the next video coming up later on today. So until next time, take care, guys, and see you guys later. Peace and have a good day. Bye.